You know how every hipster's an expert on bees? I think it's because Netflix has two documentary categories. South American drug lords and oh no, they're disappearing, not a vibe. But uh, back to the South American drug lords, Carla, how's this for a business idea? Jimmy brings coke. As such, allow me to guess your entire knowledge of bees unless you look like this. Yeah! Did you know that like bees are like dying across the globe? Wow, that's intense, right? Except in Australia, because we don't have that might. Oh, we have a different type of might to make up for that, don't you worry. But if you'll allow me to do something I've never done before, rely on the Simpsons to do the heavy lifting of a joke, I oh, don't worry about the bees dying, boy. Here, if it makes you feel any better, they're also dying here. We just don't measure it, that's all. Well, good night. Between the years of 2006 and 2016, Australia lost 100,000 commercial honeybee hives. I gained 100,000 hives when I heard that! Oi, the cream! Put it on twice a day, the packet says! But I don't have my glasses, I says! Now my face is burning like a spitz! 100,000! That's more than 20% of honey producing hives lost in a single decade, and then I assumed they were fine because records after that became as hazy as Robert Downey Jr's memory of his own life. And that's because our federal government isn't remotely interested in bee deaths in the bee industry, let alone wild bees. Everyone else on planet Earth is freaking out about wild bee deaths because of the minor, negligible environmental role bees play that Einstein summarized quite well when he said that if they go, everyone on Earth goes in about four years, that's Albert Einstein, by the way, not Bob Einstein. If it was Bob Einstein, I'd imagine our joke of a government that is literally run by cowboys would have a slightly different policy to... Do you make money? Well, yeah, a third or more of foods like apples, almonds and chocolate wouldn't exist without us, so we're worth whatever those industries are worth at least. No, no, by money I mean can you give me a cushy job on a board after I leave Parliament? No. And what the f*** are you doing in my office? This! Surprise, bitch! Ah! In a better world, eh? Actually, looking at Barnaby's face, probably this world. Oi, the cream! In fact, not only do the Nationals just pretend that a bee holocaust isn't happening, they pretend the proper regulation of known bee holocaust pesticides like Fipronol, Imidacloprid, banned in any country that even remotely gives a shit about life on Earth, so obviously, not here. The coalition's solution is, you ready for this? This is f***ing nuts. Yeah, just follow the label, as surely we can trust that everyone in an industry that is notorious for hiring illiterates will follow written instructions. Not a joke! Not a joke! These players want to play around with a big chain, so I called up Marty and I said, Marty, you get out a bigger chain and you- A couple of folk I know have told me that the chem spray industry used to be notorious for hiring people that were less intelligent than the bees, as at least bees know how to do basic maths. Chem sprayers, on the other hand, if I can't read it, it's not illegal. Because when these chemicals are applied at just 30% of the recommended dose, it still reduces bee reproduction by 90%. Now I'll admit, if that were applied to humans, that'd be great. See Bankstown. But probably not a good idea to be doing it to an animal that, let's be honest, is better than us in every way. More organized, more cooperative, keeps the entire ecosystem going instead of constantly destroying it, looks like this dog. And yet, in study after study, results like this one keep showing that agriculture in the US, not the crop it's sprayed on, agriculture, i.e. food, has become, you listening? 48 times more toxic to insects between 1992 and 2014. In the span of two presidents and one Kenyan Muslim sheikh, the crops have been so pumped with poison that the plants themselves, the plants, have become insecticides. Spray is literally overkill at this point, and that's at the EPA approved label rate of one square foot per million dead bees. Damn, imagine if there was a million dead Cardi bees. So, so much ass. The point is, this is happening. The terrifying apocalyptic scenario of plants becoming more round up than pumpkin is happening. And the coalition toadies that now infest the regulatory body, the AVPMA, that was set up by Labor, use this excuse not to ban these pesticides. And it's honestly the dumbest thing I've ever heard anyone say. And I once heard Joey Essex say, penguins are like amphibians and their beaks are made of wood, innit? This is dumber. Prepare yourself. Yeah, well those pesticides might have proven to kill European bees in Europe, but guess where we are? 
Not Europe, dickhead! We're in Australia and- Oh, f Maybe we are! The AVPMA are trying to argue, using an outdated study that calls for many more studies, mind you, that something that kills bees there doesn't kill bees here. Is more research needed on the impact of knives on Australian kids' heads? If you want to talk about what impact insecticides are having on bees specifically native to an area, what about the 2,000 species of bees native to Australia? Because if they're doing that to these units, can you imagine what they're doing to- <coughs> But they won't. Coalition won't do anything, which is the entire f***ing point. Because the only reason you and I thought bees were fine in Australia, and yes, you did think that, I know exactly what you think. The reason we think bees are hunky-dory here is because like with everything else when it comes to the Coalition, hear no evil, see no evil. If there's no report, what's there to report? It's the standard pollution playbook. Asbestos mining, as fine as the particles. Living near a uranium mine, it might cause cancer, it might give you superpowers. More studies required. Insecticides? Well, I don't think there's been a proven correlation between a product designed to kill insects and insects being killed. Teddy bear bees, for instance, are at least 50% bare. As you would expect, Labor was concerned about this whole ecological collapse business that concerns everyone on Earth except Barnaby's friends, so they set up a re-registration scheme for pesticides. It meant that every five years the government would look at a pesticide being used in Australia and see if it met current scientific standards, and if it didn't, it would be banned. Then the Libs got elected. Can you guess what they did? That's right, they scrapped it. You know a few biologists have messaged me saying, forget about nuclear winter, forget about climate change, silent spring baby, that's what's going to get us. The human species will die because of, mm, yeah, that's probably enough. Which is why you're going to save the bees with these patented Friendly Jordy Survival Siege, also known as Siege. Get them in a shirt combo. They're not mine, we bought them wholesale. Because when looking into this, we discovered the bees in urban environments are actually a lot healthier because they aren't constantly being gas chambered. Who'd have guessed? And also, sadly, because these days gardens have a larger variety of pollens in them than the wild, and the wild has been replaced with cotton. So two things. Please check out this link in the comments on how to purchase a proper bee hotel. No, I'm not getting paid by them. I just think that the world ending probably isn't the best idea. We are making bank on the seeds, though, because it's win-win. Filled with plants native bees feed off of, you're also supporting the channel while saving numerous bee species, especially if you couple that in with a nice Airbnb for them, as well as a water dish. Honestly, the most important thing you could do this week. Do that and then like and subscribe if you think that the Liberals and Nationals are very mean to bees. Please share and comment below. Come in.